Hello guys, welcome to my this video. My name is Anur and today in this canvas tutorial, I'll show you how to draw a circle. So in the previous video, I had shown how to draw a line. So if you haven't watched that video, so I will suggest you to watch that one first and then come to this video. So here I have added basic HTML structure in the index.html file you can see here. Okay. And in, in this structure inside this body, I have added one canvas. Okay and this canvas style i have added here if you want to add external css you can do that or internal css that also you can write for this canvas okay anything you can do but the main thing you have to add this canvas tag okay and for drawing a circle here i have to add code inside this script file so if you are confusing here so i will suggest you to watch my previous video because there i explained everything okay so you can easily understand and then come to this video so now i will show you the preview here so this border red color that is the canvas okay so here i have added this canvas and this canvas border color i have added red so that's why it is the red color so inside this whatever i will draw i have to draw inside this if i draw outside so it will not display okay so everything i have to draw inside this so if you want to uh, increase the width and height so you can you can increase here okay with height you can increase here so it will increase and inside this you can draw anything so now today i will show you the circle one how to draw circle so guys here first of all you can see here i have taken one id id name is canvas you can write any name for this id so this id name uh, i will take for the reference okay so first the basic syntax for canvas means anything if you want to draw you have to write those two lines okay so the two line is uh, first is where and here you have to take one variable you can write where let const anything okay so here i will write the where and c or the variable name uh, that also you can write anything this c instead of c you can write anything so here i will write document dot get element by id it is simple like javascript okay uh, so here canvas based on the javascript but it is called html can html5 canvas but mostly we write javascript code for drawing anything okay so now here this id name i will take for the reference so here i will write if you know the javascript this is basic of javascript okay if you know so you can understand it easily what i did here like just i took the id from the canvas as a reference okay and canvas used for 2d drawing so here you have to mention the 2d so ctx i will take another variable called ctx if, if you want to take anything you can do it this is also depend on you like what variable name you want to add so now here this c because in this c variable i have assigned this canvas id okay so c dot get context c is the capital get context and here you have to lie, write like this 2d because you have to mention this is 2d and 2d uh, 2d drawing okay or 2d game you can say you can say it okay uh, means canvas is 2d so you have to write this one so those two line you have to write so after this after this it means here this ctx variable uh, here i store this one 2d so everything i will i will write the code based on this ctx variable okay so now here first of all here i have to write ctx dot begin begin path okay this is also the uh, default of circle when you are going to create circle so that time this line you have to write begin path means starting one okay means your circle will start so that's why you have to write ctx dot begin path if you don't write this line so your circle will not work now here the main thing so the default method is arc ctx arc so here in in this inside this method those value can be dynamic means uh, as per your requirement you can dynamic your value so first of all i will write some value and then i will explain what value for which purpose so first is 100 then is 75 then 50 and then 0 comma 2 point uh, sorry, 2 uh, into math math dot uh, math in dot pi p is caps this one okay and here uh, i have to write ctx dot stroke uh, this is for color okay means if i don't write this stroke 
circle will not display circle is created up to that okay up to that if you write uh, those two line of code those are the common for a, a, every drawing purpose and for circle you have to write those two code okay i mean those two line of code so if you write those two line of code so your circle will be created but it will not display because uh, you didn't add any color right so you have to uh, you have to add one color or you have to fill you have to fill the line of circle okay so that's why ctx dot stroke that will like default color your uh, circle line will add the default color that is black if, uh, black color if you write this line okay let's see circle is created or not so see here one circle is created so if i don't uh, write here uh, let's see that circle color is black okay uh, how it is coming this circle line color uh, by this one okay you can change the line color that i will show you in the next but here just understand if i remove this one suppose if i comment this one okay so now circle will not display but it is created it is not displayed because uh, the only for the line okay i mean only for the color because no color so that's why we can see so i have to add the color so i can write this one c text dot stroke now here uh, if you want to uh, if you want to uh, add uh, any stroke color uh, that also you can do okay uh, but first of all i will explain what are uh, what are those properties okay so here 100 100 means if i simply say then it it is the left one okay left means our circle will start from where in left side okay uh, let i will show you the preview you can easily understand so if i open so here uh, between our canvas this red color border is canvas okay and this is circle so in uh, between circle and canvas there is some space okay uh, in the left side and top and bottom also so left side space coming from this 100 okay like if i add here uh, 300 so you will notice in the left side added more space okay so this first property value it is coming the space in left side so second one is top space okay so if i add here like uh, 95 or anything so you can see the difference okay you can see the difference in top so this is top space okay now this one is radius radius means we know like uh, when we create if you have the knowledge of css so you know like how to create the circle uh, in css so just simply we write border radius okay border radius 50 means it will create circle so here the radius one. so if i write here 40 so let's see so see this is small size okay so this is the radius 50 okay so this is that uh, this one and now here you can change to 20 like this so see this circle uh, will come up to like this okay so you can play all those uh, by all those property value and you can uh, design the circle as per your requirement okay so here this is for that one and this two two means also like it will be round like this okay so 1.6 means uh, like you can notice it is half okay so this is those are the value okay main uh, main property we mostly use this one like from where i want to start our circle this one also and here for the this is for the radius purpose and this one we mostly keep zero because we are creating circle and here also mostly write two okay and the another property that also optional but those property you have to write okay but those two uh, two value we mostly not two those three value we mostly write the static value means here 50 0 2 into matter pi okay uh, and but if you want to uh, create the circle half or if you want to create one animation like first circle uh, it will not display circle first it will uh, display one point and from there you want to make the circle so here first you you can write here uh, like one point uh, zero point anything like any value you can put here like this so here it is like this so when you will increase your point like 0 0.1 then 0 uh, 0.9 like this so uh, gradually your circle is creating okay so those two value if you uh, if you add dynamically so it will look like 
animation circle is creating like an animation so everything i will show you step by step but in this video you have to understand the basic thing of the canvas okay like how to create line how to create a circle okay so here those for the animation purpose you can change the value dynamically but uh, here first we need to know like how to create circle so here we will write 2 into matter here and here the another property like boolean value that is true or false if you write true so and here i will change uh, 1.6 like this so it is like that and if you add false so like this okay so you can play uh, by those property properties okay so now here i will keep it to and some other important properties i will show you like how to add this stroke color now by default it is black color but if you want to change the color so you can do that even i will show you how to fill the color okay so first see how to fill the i mean how to change the stroke color this this line color okay now it is black so simply just here above okay first you have to add the color then you have to write this cts dot stroke means here you have to write like ctx dot uh, dot fill style uh, sorry stroke style because i want to add stroke color so stroke and then style s is the capital of style so now here i will add color name so color name you can add anything like i will add here red color so now i will check the browser so here you can see stroke color is changed okay so now if i want to change to green you can do that i'll show you like how simply just you have to add the color name and change see it is changed to the green color okay now here i will show you how you can uh, change this fill fill color okay so here i will write ctx dot fill style like this and the fill color so suppose fill color is red okay or anything uh, you can add and here i have to write ctx dot fill like here when i have written ctx dot stroke before ctx uh, dot stroke time same for uh, first ctx dot fill style then ctx dot fill like this okay so i have to write like this now if i see here it is filled by red color okay now here i want to uh, add the width of line line width okay of this circle okay so here uh, simply i have to write ctx dot line width equals to 20 okay means stroke line the stroke color line was green so this width is increased to and here you can see like this okay so here if i add 10 so it will increase like this okay like see here so i will add here uh, four, uh, or two so like this okay so now here in in this uh, color you can add the gradient color as well okay so how you can do that so simply just first here you have to create one gradient color so that and uh, i will take one variable so variable name can be anything i have written gradient okay now ctx dot create linear gradient and now here uh, i will add some properties values so if you want to know more about those so you can check my previous video there i explain it is same like x x y like this x means left y means top okay like this okay this is a this is called x value property this is called y so x means uh, left space y means top so same here like x means left side means color will start from left side that is 20 then 50 like this okay then uh, width and height okay this 100 is width up to it will go up to 100 width and then height is 0 and after that here i will add this gradient gradient dot add color stop okay and zero here you have to pass two value one is uh, this uh, this one and after that you have to write the color name okay so color name you can write anything so i will write like this so if you want to more know more about this one so you can uh, just check my previous video okay and here i will uh, write the color name is blue and this 
one i will write 0 0.10 and again i will copy and paste and here i will add the color name is red and this one i will add one okay and now here i have created the static color name red so if i want to change this color to gradient so simply i have to pass this variable okay uh, first this one if i pass this so this fill color will be gradient but it is not working i have to check why it is not working where is the wrong so guys gradient color is not working because notice here our circle is starting from uh, 300 pixel left but our color is starting from 20 pixel left so that's why here we can't see the color okay so here if circle starting from 300 so color also should start from 300 pixel okay so that i already told like this is left or it is called x property okay and this is y uh, called top so same here x y means left and top so here if it is uh, starting from 300 so the color should be start from 300 pixel also so here now if i check so it is like that so same way if it start from 100 pixel so now our color is starting from 300 pixel so same the gradient color will not happen here so that's why here you again you have to make it 100 pixel okay so like this and here our top position is starting from 95 so here i have to make it 95 so here it will like that okay and some other property you can change and you can see like how it will work but this way you can add the gradient color so same way if you want to add the gradient color for this stroke style you can do that like this okay you can do that this stroke width is not much more so we can't see properly so if you here we can't see actually uh, because of the gradient color already happened in field style so that's why but you can do like this so hope guys it is clear if you have any doubts so you can write in the comment section or you can connect with my insta id so i will i will try to solve your doubt and if you find this video is helpful so please like this video and also subscribe my channel to get more videos